now we'll see some terminologies uh, uh, related to that uh, orbit right so when earth uh, is orbiting around the sun then we have this two terms aphelion and perihelion okay so here you see uh, this is the orbit of the earth okay so here in this orbit so here in this orbit we have two points one point so here we have one point which is farthest from the sun and the other point we have which is away from the sun so here we have one point which is farthest from the sun and the other point here we have which is closest to the sun right so uh, in an orbit of the earth the point which is farthest from the sun is known as aphelion and which is closest to the sun is known as perihelion so here aphelion earth orbit okay around the sun for this point from the sun and perihelion closest point from the sun okay then same two terms are perigee and apogee okay so here you see for apogee okay here uh, we are considering any object orbiting around the earth object orbiting around the earth okay so this apogee is uh, you see farthest point from that earth for this point from earth correct and if i say perigee then it is closest point from earth so these are the uh, four points okay uh, and uh, some other different terms are also there like eccentricity semi major axis semi minor axis so that also we are going to see so in the given diagram you see uh, this is the ellipse okay and in ellipse uh, as we have already discussed it is not a complete circle so uh, it has two axes okay one which is bigger in length and one uh, which is smaller in length so you see here ab ab we call it as major axis and here if i say this is the center o then here ao is equal to ob okay called as semi major axis semi major axis and according to the given diagram the value is given as a similarly cd is minor axis which is smaller in length okay and then co equal to od is known as semi minor axis okay according uh, to the diagram it is given as b value is b 
fine then here we have one more term uh, known as eccentricity so eccentricity denoted by e okay and it is calculated as under root a square minus b square by a okay where a is the length of semi major axis b is the length of semi minor axis and for an ellipse that eccentricity value lies between 0 to 1 that means here uh, you will get it greater than 0 and less than 1 so it has different different values for circle for parabola for hyperbola so as here we will require the elliptical orbit so all of these key points uh, will be helpful. Mm -hmm.